Hello and welcome to the show. The gloves are off between lovers Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani on the September 30th episode of The Voice. And he's forced to do damage control after getting caught in a lie. The September 30th episode of The Voice begins with a blind audition from Mendeleev. He has a background in folk music and sings Girl from the North Country by Bob Dylan. He opts to do so without a band, so it's just himself and his guitar. Blake Shelton, John Legend and Kelly Clarkson all push their buttons at the same time and Gwen Stefani eventually follows to make it a four-chair turn. Mendeleev can only choose one coach though and he goes with John. Next up is Jake Hoot, a country singer who performs When It Rains It Pours by Luke Combs. It takes a little bit of time but Kelly finally turns around and since no one else does she automatically grabs Jake for her team. Calvin Lockett is up next. He sings Just My Imagination by The Temptations and Blake turns around right away, followed by Gwen and John. They all give their pitches and even though everyone is certain Calvin will pick John, he shocks them all by going with Gwen who's beyond excited. The next artist to take the stage is Josie Jones. As a country artist, she's admittedly most excited about the prospect of working with Blake. Josie performs a rendition of Men and Mascara, and John is first to turn around. At the very end of the song, Blake follows suit, but John puts up a good fight to nab the country artist for his team. However, jo Josie makes the obvious choice and picks Blake as her coach. Johnny Sanchez is up next, and he sings Seven Spanish Angels. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to catch any of the coach's attention and no chairs turn. Hoping to have better luck is Mary Beth Bird. She is a country singer who performs Angel from Montgomery. Kelly, Gwen and John turn around from the very first notes. At the last minute, Blake also turns his chair, but he has no chance at getting Mary Beth on his team because Kelly used her block on him. Since he's out of the running, Blake uses his pitch to advocate for his girlfriend Gwen. Pick Gwen, have fun, he urges Mary Beth. Kelly is desperate to get Mary Beth on her team though and she gives a great pitch. However, Blake does whatever he can to sabotage her and starts playing Gwen's hit song, Don't Speak, on the speakers every time Kelly starts speaking. In the end though, Mary Beth doesn't go with either of the ladies and instead chooses John. Next, Tamika J gives a powerful and energetic performance, but unfortunately none of the coaches turn around. Kiara Brown hits the stage next with a unique rendition of Free Fallen by Tommy Tom Petty. Blake and Gwen are intrigued and they both turn around, so it's a battle of the lovers. At this point, Blake accidentally reveals himself as the person who played Don't Speak to Sabotage Kelly earlier and Gwen is shocked. You're a liar and a cheater, she scolds her man. John is also flabbergasted and says, I don't know how Gwen could be in a relationship with someone who has this many problems with telling the truth. Gwen continues to express how surprised she is by Blake's sabotage and he does his best to make it up to her. No, I love you, he promises. It's all in good fun, but the other coaches are definitely pulling for Gwen on this one and she gets Kiara on her team. Blake, this is a competition, Gwen concludes. The gloves are off. Next up is Melinda Rodriguez. A jazz singer, she gives an inspiring performance of Oh, what a wonderful world, and Kelly and Gwen turn around immediately. Both ladies have excellent pitches, but Melinda picks Kelly as her coach. John Rizzo is the next performer. He sings Let Her Cry by Hootie and the Blowfish, but unfortunately it's not quite strong enough for anyone to turn around. The final artist of the night is Cully Wilson, who sings a gorgeous rendition of Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Gwen, Blake and John all push their buttons so Kelly has a big decision to make, but we won't get to see who she chooses until tomorrow's episode. After night three of the blind auditions, this is where the team stand. John has Katie Caden, Will Bremen, Max Boyle, Mendeleev, Mary Beth Bird. Kelly has Brennan Lasseter, Alex Guthrie, Shane Q, Hello Sunday, Jake Hoot, Melinda Rodriguez, Blake has Cat Hammock, Marina Cello, Corey Jackson, Josie Jones, Gwen has Jake Haldenvang, Rose Short, Kindle Inskeep, Royce Lovett, Elise Azkul, Calvin Lockett, Kiara Brown. The Voice continues with a new episode of Blind Auditions on October the 1st at 6pm on NBC. Thank you.